Hi guys, welcome to Power Cubicle Guy. In today's show, we are going to learn how to use Azure Stream Analytics service, getting the input from the IoT Hub, and outputting the uh, streaming data into the Azure Blob Storage. And also, we will visualize the data in Power BI by connecting it to the storage account. So let's dig in and see how this can be done. But before that, a small intro. So guys, here we will be using a Raspberry Pi Azure IoT online simulator as we don't have a IoT device. So which means an IoT device is not mandatory for this uh, demo. So what we will be doing is uh, we have to uh, get our IoT hub connection string and we have to put it here. Also, if you go to this uh, web link, uh, you can uh, go to the help and see the steps. It's mentioned here uh, like uh, assembly area, coding area, integrated console. It's all shown in here and um, how we can connect it to the IoT hub and uh, uh, get it started. Let's uh, create an IoT hub first. Let's go to Azure and type IoT hub. Click on that. Click on create. Uh, create a resource group if you don't have one. I name it as RG Streaming. Okay. IoT hub name. Australia I'll select the region as Australia Southeast and click on create so as you see here deployment is in progress for our IoT hub While this deployment is in progress let's create another resource which is Azure streaming Uh, I believe stream analytics stream analytics job click on create give the job name let's name it stream analytics source group as RG streaming location again as Australia Southeast uh, remember to change the streaming units to one so that there is not enough cost to this Click on create. As you see here, deployment is in progress. So what we have created is a, a stream analytics job and another deployment which is in progress is, uh, okay, it's done, uh, which is IoT Hub. Now uh, let's also create a storage account. So we will be for putting our streaming data into our storage account, blob storage. So uh, select the resource group, RG streaming storage account name. You can name it like this, storage IoT um, stream and region again as Australia Southeast. I'll select LRS because there is no um, globally redundant storage required for this demo purpose click on review plus create and again create as you see here our deployment is in progress for storage account as well right so meanwhile uh, we will go back to our um, IOT hub and we will go to IoT devices here. So uh, as of now, what we have done is we have uh, created three resources. First is IoT Hub, which is this one. Second is a Stream Analytics. And the third is a Storage Account. 
so that is also created i believe yeah so um, now what we have to do is to add an iot device so if you remember here in raspberry pi simulator we saw that we have to enter our iot hub device connection string right so we will go back here and we will click on add a device just name just give a name to your iot device right you can give uh, any name and click on save now click on refresh it should be created instantly go to the iot uh, device which you just created you see a primary connection string here go to the right hand side and you see a copy icon here click on that it will copy the primary connection string go here back to uh, raspberry pi simulator and copy that string here control v you can click on run and if you see here at the bottom console you will see the messages are started uh, generating and it's going to our iot hub right if you see this message message sent to uh, azure iot hub right message seven eight like that it's uh, it is started and if you see this uh, red light it started blinking as well which means our uh, uh, simulator is running now all right uh, now as this is done we will go to stream analytics and uh, we will go here to the inputs we have to add an input stream so that from where this stream analytics is uh, getting the data so we will select here as iot hub we will give here an uh, name iot input and uh, if you see here uh, our iot hub is automatically selected um, uh, here because just uh, one iot hub was present uh, it's all selected and um, we can click on save here it's uh, testing the connection all right successful connection test it's all done now we will go to the uh, output tab and here if you remember we created a storage account we will add the storage account here we can name it as blob output right and if you see again the storage account is selected here now uh, we didn't create a container so we can create a, a container there uh, as a stream streaming data and and we can select the connection string and we can save the file format as csv click on save so um, again if you see um, in the notifications it's testing the uh, connection to the storage account testing the output so successful connection test after that is done we have to go to query if you see here uh, in inputs it's showing as iot input and output it's showing as blob output so here in the query um, we have to give that particular name from iot input and here it should go to blob output right you can immediately test your query and it should give all the results from the uh, simulator it's uh, showing uh, 50 rows and uh, you can click on save query all right now what we have to do is go to the overview and click on start here so once you start uh, this stream analytics job it will output the data into the blob storage click on start it should show a uh, status as running i'll fast forward this video so that uh, you guys don't have to wait here all right it shows it has started successfully if we refresh the dashboard it shows the status as running all right now uh, if we see our 
storage account we should uh, go to the container and we will see a streaming csv file there right now um, this file size will get increased over a, a few seconds of interval time because it's a streaming data set and uh, it should uh, get uh, the data automatically so if you see here the um, simulator it's uh, sending messages 168 169 170 so the count is increasing here with the messages right so now if you see here the size of the file is 5.44 it should increase a uh, yeah so see after refreshing it shows 6.87 so that means um, our streaming analytics job is running fine now if we want to visualize the data uh, we can uh, do it through power bi creating a streaming uh, data set or by also creating a streaming data flow this is a feature in preview as of now we can directly connect to the iot hub if you see here uh, there is a streaming data flow option uh, which might not be present if you log in because it's still in preview and available for um, few users i believe and uh, yeah so after clicking on a streaming data flow we can connect to the event hub or iot hub and we can see our data here in the below pane if you see here uh, once the connection is established our data preview uh, option is there to the live data we can create the data flow and can aggregate or um, make a derived column or whatever like you want to do so once this streaming data flow is created we have to start uh, click the run icon here as you see uh, to make this data flow running and then we can visualize it in our uh, power bi report uh, the option for storage mode should be a direct query to make it a real-time report scenario right so if you see here it will show in power bi like that uh, so this is uh, an option still in uh, public preview might not be uh, available for um, most of the users i believe uh, it's not also not available for me so let's go to power bi uh desktop all right uh, so now if you remember our streaming data set is getting stored in the storage account so we will make a connection here with the uh, blob uh, storage right let's connect here and let's go to the access keys and show access keys copy the key and go back again to power bi copy the key click on connect should connect to the data now if i click on transform data i can view the uh, binary content by clicking on those arrow keys if you see this is the temperature device id raspberry pi web client and uh, the other columns event processed partition id iot hub right now i click on ok to get the uh, rows from that uh, streaming data set close and apply i'm not doing any transformations on that data as of now it's just to show like how we can uh, visualize that data I click on the line chart here and if I expand this I can see the columns uh, for example if I want to see a uh, uh, temperature the uh, summation or maybe average of temperature over a period of time uh, which is uh, event uh, processed date let's make it event UTC time right this is how we can visualize the data so um, so um, if I go back to the uh, simulator I 
see it's still running because I didn't stop it and if you see there are messages uh, going on 300 14 15 messages 17 it's uh, ongoing uh, so if I go back to here power bi and click on refresh it should fetch the latest data again streaming data set this will be continuously moving up and down up and down it will show the latest um, average value of the temperature according to the event uh, event time so this is how we can uh, end to end uh, visualize the data from the IoT device through Azure uh, uh, IoT hub is using stream analytics SQL uh, so also one thing guys here um, if I go to the output tab oh uh, sorry query tab uh, you can see I can add multiple queries here I can also do uh, uh, whichever columns I want to select from the uh, IoT input because uh, if I just wanted an average of temperature for the uh, event time I can do that I can add a tumbling window option here like uh, if I want to refresh it into a period of two seconds five seconds whatever I can do that here or I can also add another output uh, another output uh, this is this if you see here it's disabled because uh, my stream analytics job is running for example if I stop this job it is stopped successfully now if I go to the output tab I uh, you guys can see here and add multiple outputs here so power bi is also one of the option here uh, for some reason I was unable to select the workspace or if I was giving a workspace ID it was not authenticating maybe some uh, admin related issue for my account but yeah this is another way to get the stream analytics uh, output to view in power bi rather than in uh, what I just showed you in the power bi desktop so guys uh, hope this uh, video helped you to um, get started with the uh, Azure stream analytics job like uh, how we can configure and how easily we can visualize our IoT devices data guys thank you very much for viewing this video and if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask me in the comment section and if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and also please subscribe to power cubicle guy thank you guys and see ya